Good morning boys and girls and welcome back to another week of ARC. I hope you've had a lovely week back at school. I know that everyone is back now. I hope that you've been learning loads of new things and had a good time catching up with your friends after Easter. Now I wonder can you remember the name of the man that we have been learning about the past couple of weeks? He was a very special man and a very important man in the Bible. Have a think and see if you can remember what his name was. Can you remember it? It was Paul. Now the man Paul that we've been learning about had a different name at the start of our stories. Can you remember what it was? It was Saul. So the man that we met as Saul is now named Paul. Now when we first met Saul in the Bible, Saul wasn't a very nice man. Saul didn't like Jesus and he didn't like people who were friends with Jesus. But then Saul met Jesus and he knew that Jesus was real and that Jesus was telling the truth. So Saul decided he wanted to become a friend of Jesus. And during this time, he changed his name and he was now known as Paul. And Paul was a brilliant man. Paul travelled far and wide telling people all about Jesus and all about how wonderful Jesus is. But Paul had some difficult times. It wasn't all easy. He had long journeys. He had people who didn't want to listen to him. And the story we're going to look at this week shows us how difficult things got for Paul. But boys and girls, I want you to remember that throughout this story, Paul never doubted God. Paul always trusted in God and Paul always worshipped God. Now, you might think, what's that word mean? Worship means anything we do to tell God how thankful we are. It could be singing, it could be dancing, it could be praying, or it could just be talking about him. Now, I want us all to think about a time this week where we might have complained about something. Maybe we were in school and we were doing a piece of work that we really didn't want to do, so we complained about it. Or maybe we came home and our mummies or daddies or grannies or grandas asked us to help them with the dishes or asked us to tidy our rooms. And we really didn't want to do that either, so we complained about it. Boys and girls, Paul and his friend Silas had a lot of things that they could have complained about. They were in jail, they were arrested, they were beaten, they were treated very badly. But the whole time they were in jail, they didn't complain once. They worshipped and they praised God the whole time. Now this week our story is about Paul and his friend Silas. And Paul and Silas went all around telling people all about Jesus and the amazing things that he could do. But boys and girls, some people didn't like to hear about all these wonderful things that Jesus could do. And it made some people angry. They wanted to continue doing bad and evil things and they didn't want to listen to the wonderful things that Jesus could do. And this meant that Paul and Silas got into a lot of trouble with people because people didn't want to hear the good news. So our story is going to tell us all about what Paul and Silas went through. They had some very t difficult times and they may have been scared at times, but Jesus was always there for them. And I want you to remember that as we're reading our story. Paul and Silas travelled the world telling people all about Jesus. Some people were very happy to hear about Jesus, but others were very angry because they wanted to keep doing evil things. They ordered Paul and Silas to be arrested, beaten and thrown in jail. The jailer locked Paul and Silas in jail and put their feet in stocks so that they could not move. The jail was not a nice place, but Paul and Silas prayed and sang praises to God. They remembered that God is always good and always worthy of praise. When Paul and Silas were in prison, there was an earthquake. Their chains fell off and the prison doors opened. They were free. God had rescued them. The jailer woke up in a panic. If the prisoners escaped, he would be in big trouble. The jailer looked through the prison doors, checking to see if Paul and Silas had escaped. But they hadn't. They were still there. Paul and Silas shouted to the jailer, We didn't run away. We're still here. Paul and Silas decided to tell the jailer all about Jesus and all the amazing things that Jesus had done. When the jailer heard about all the amazing things Jesus had done, he believed in Jesus. So the jailer took Paul and Silas to his house so that they could tell his friends and family all about Jesus. The jailer and his family were now all friends of God and they decided to be baptised. 
So boys and girls, in our story, we could see how brave Silas and Paul both were. But they were brave because they had God with them the whole time. And because they were worshipping and praising God. And boys and girls, do you remember I was saying before how easy it is to complain about things? We complain that we have to tidy, that we have to do work. It's very easy to do. But did you notice that Paul and Silas did not complain once? So the next time we feel like complaining about something, I want us to try and remember the story of Paul and Silas. I want us to remember that even though they were in jail, they were having a really difficult time and they were definitely scared, they didn't complain because they knew that they had Jesus and they continued to worship and praise Jesus. That doesn't mean things are always going to be easy and that things are always going to be good fun. We might still feel fed up and we might still get annoyed, but we have to remember to thank God for all the amazing things that we already have in our life. So maybe the next time you don't want to tidy your room, you should think, I'm not going to complain about this. I'm going to tell Jesus how thankful I am that I have my own bedroom with my own toys and my own bed. Or maybe next time your teacher tells you to do a bit of work that you really don't want to do, instead of complaining about it, I want you to think, I'm lucky that I am in school, I'm with my friends, and I'm going to be learning loads of new things. Because it's so important that we try and thank God for all the good things in our life and not just talk to him when things are going wrong for us. And what I also want us all to remember about this story is that sometimes things seem very bad and very scary. When Paul and Silas were in jail, they didn't know if there was a way out. They didn't know if they were going to be stuck there forever. But they trusted God because they knew that God had a plan and that God could take bad things and turn them into good things. And boys and girls, Jesus did just that in this story. He took Paul and Silas out of jail, which was a very bad situation. And he took them to the house of the jailer. And they were able to tell all that family about Jesus. And that meant that that family became friends with Jesus. And that was such a good thing. So the next time th something's going really bad for us, I just want us to try and remember Jesus and remember how good Jesus is to us and that he always has a plan and that you don't need to be afraid. Now, boys and girls, in your ARC pack, you have a colouring in picture. And this is of Paul and Silas when they were in prison. And in our picture, we can see all the music notes. And this is because the whole time Paul and Silas were in prison, they were singing to God to thank him and to worship him. So I hope you enjoy doing this and you remember all about our story of Paul and Silas. And we will see you next week for another week of ARC.